Alrighty, we are back. Looks like sound is working. Um, okay, so uh, in the last episode, we uh, did some work on the hydrogen uh, quadrant, quarter. I think I was calling it quarter. Um, and this is kind of what it looks like. It's just going to be like super flat. And uh, yeah, and then under here, we're gonna have our hydrogen tanks, our H2O2 generators. Um, I'm wondering if I should add more just to go through the ice faster, but that depends on how quickly we're using the ice that we have. So, and then it also depends on how much power we have because we're probably using a lot of it. Um, okay, this one is full of gravel. This one, it's full of other stuff, okay. This one has no more ice in it, so that's good. Okay, so we're losing. Okay, so that's about 1,000 every 10 seconds. That is a very very big number that we would need. So if we're doing 1,000, we have to do 1,000 times that, and then 1,000 times 10 seconds is 10,000 seconds, and then 10,000 seconds divided by 60. Ah, let's see, so one goes to 100, then 40, so that's 36, so that's one six, and then 40 again, so one six 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 six. okay. So that will be, so if we got 10,000, 166 minutes, which is about two hours to go through just one stack of this stuff. Eesh. Okay, so how... Uh, what is the proper way <laughs> for me to figure out how to do this? Um, Because we need to clear out the ice if we want to place more hydrogen and more of these things. Um, how many H2O2 generators do I have? Let's see if we can find that out. Um, I think I only have four. Yes, yeah, so we got the HAB here, H2O2 generator. Okay, so we have five. And they're all large grids, so I have five going. Oh, man. And then how quickly are these hydrogen tanks filling up? Not fast enough. Um, <laughs> well, I mean, we are at, what is that? One third of our fastest thing with okay so then at this point we can handle 15 uh, h2 generators and it still is going really really slow um, I wish I could tell like how fast these things are outputting yeah I don't think there's a way to do that um, <clears throat> but anyways I mean like all of these are working and we've got a ton of hydrogen uh, things here, so I guess, what can we do? Um, and we have four full tanks that we can put on the ship. Four full hydrogen tanks is what I mean. Um, and I, th like, we can't even fill up one tank at this point. Um, okay, I'm going to try something. It's probably not going to work, and if it does work, it's probably going to hurt. So we're going to jump off, and that did not work. Okay. <clears throat> so, I mean, I could use... 
Oh, but I took the hydrogen tank out of my inventory, so I need to put that back. Um, I guess we can just put all this stuff back. Yeah. Uh, and then it needs to be the bottle. Bottle? Oh, bottle! Holy crap, we have 113 missiles? Dude! There it is. There's my bottle. 113 missiles. That is a lot of missiles. Do you know how much platinum I can get out of that? That's a lot of platinum. Um, disassemble missiles. One, two, three, four, five. And I only get 0.1 platinum out of this. Ugh. Platinum is kind of moving. So let's see what we have. Uh, platinum. Okay. So we have 0.03 here. We've got 0.13 here. We still have some uranium in here. So let's grab all of this stuff. Oh, I'm getting uranium out of there too? Oh shit, okay. Uh, nickel, we don't need silicon. <clears throat> okay, so that's just what we're getting as we're breaking everything down, okay. Okay, so there is 50. Some magnesium, some more platinum. Okay. There we go. That's what I'm looking for, platinum. We got a decent amount of uranium. Uh, let's see, do we need any more of this stuff? I mean, probably. It doesn't. I don't think it's really going to hurt to put all this in here. Uh, gravel we don't, well, I mean, gravel we kind of do need for the daily need stuff. Um, okay, so large cargo container, two components. Okay. So I'm going to see what we have here. Okay, I can't tell what this is. Okay, so everything that's white is currently connected to the system. Everything that is orange is not. Okay, so we have this and we have this. I thought we had four large containers. In fact, I'm pretty sure we have four large containers. So let's hop up in here. Yes, I know my field is critical. Okay, so what are you? Station contain. Oh yeah, just look for station. Duh. Um. Station container three. Where is station container four? Okay, hang on. So that'll be connected over here to this one. Okay, so let's look for the other one that is, okay, what is going on? Is that thing like not, is it not active? Is that what's going on here? Can you tell me what you, what is going wrong with you? Okay, so large container two components. Okay, so this needs to be renamed. Okay, so let's find the naming convention that I used. Okay, station container one, two, and three. Okay, so station container four. And then we're going to have this be locked. Okay. 
So now we should be able to get into all of these. Okay, so station container three and four. Okay, so we're good to go. All right, so let's look in here. Let's see what we've got. Um, let's see, station container. Okay, so we've got Station container three, station container one is still empty. Station container two has ammo, missiles. Okay. <sighs> All right. Um, so what we can do is we can put a ton of ice in the ship for processing. Um, large cargo container, ores and ingots. So we're gonna move all that in there. Basically, we're just maxing this thing out. Okay, so that's a cargo bay container, okay. Okay, so that's station four container four. Um, do, 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 do. There are a lot of things in here. Okay, so we have station container three, station container one is still completely empty, so we can fill that with ice as well. Okay, so let's take all of this and we'll put this into station container four, or one, duh. Um, do, 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 do. Station container three, station container one. Okay. So that fills out this guy, and it's locked, so it's going to stay in here. Um, we've got a lot of materials here. Uh, we are still going to need gold and a lot of it. And then we're also going to need a lot of cobalt. So I think as long as I can get to these things and quickly, uh, we should be able to take off and then actually set up the station, or the space station, whatever. Uh, station container, okay. Okay, so station container two. Okay, we're gonna put all of our actual components into here. Okay, so that gives us a lot of space in here for extra stuff, so um, what do we need first? Cobalt would be easiest, I think. Um, and then maybe this scrapper would have the thrust if I were to fill up one of those all the way. Um, and then what do I have for platinum? I have 0.8, so it's enough to upgrade one tool. Um, we're just going to leave that for now. Uh, okay. I mean, we're going to need just a lot of components in here, but we can build that on the way so long as we have all of the materials. Um, okay. So we'll go here. All right, so let's go grab the scrapper and then that will allow uh, more of the ice to be processed. Um, scrapper is here. Energy below is fine because I'm gonna be sitting in a seat so I can recharge on my way over to the cobalt mine. Um, this isn't the scrapper. <laughs> okay. Alrighty. So here we are at the scrapper. So we have two large thrusts. These are just normal. Yeah, normal. Um, this one is sci-fi large. This is just regular large. Okay. 
So we should be able to lift twice as much as the gopher, which should be one full container in here. So um, let's see. So five, nine, four, and up. All right. All right, so where do we need to go? We need to go and find the cobalt, which I think is actually right over here. Yeah, okay. So I could have just walked over here, honestly. Okay, hang on. Okay, so if this is where that is, then we have to go over here to the entrance. Okay. All right, and we are locked. So let's go get some cobalt. And we also managed to uh, fully recharge ourselves at the same time, so should be good. And we, we have barely like mined any of this cobalt out. So we don't actually need a lot. I'm gonna turn that down a little bit. It's a little loud. And do I need silver? Because, I mean, I can grab some silver while I'm here, too. Uh, right, over here. Do I have access to this thing? Um, okay, so cargo container. Oh, this has already got stuff in it. Well, that's unfortunate. Okay. Yeah, so I'm going to have to get all of that stuff out of there. Um, ah, okay. Um, that can go in there. Once again, probably not the most exciting thing in the world, but... It is part of the process, and we are getting closer to actually launching and heading off into space, which means hopefully we will be able to get some platinum. Hopefully that did not hit the scrapper because that would that would make me not very happy. And scrapper's okay. All right. Picked up some stone. Okay. Ladybug. I'm not worried about a ladybug. Is that okay? Unless, of course, the ladybug gets really, really close and starts attacking the scrapper, in which case that would be really bad. Um, okay. It is going to be flying directly overhead. So I'm a little worried. I'm not really all that worried, though. Excuse me. Thank you. Okay, so silver. Do I need to get silver? I mean, I don't really use silver for much. And silver is uh, relatively easy to find in asteroids. So I think I'll just end with this much cobalt. And this will be enough to get me uh, a lot of metal grids in case I need them. Um, once you get out in space, though... How you doing, ladybug? You just stay over there, do your thing. And I will ignore you to the best of my abilities. How about that? Okay. <clears throat> oh, these are these are tier three thrusters. So yeah, we'll be able to hold a lot. All right. 
So uh, next thing we need to do is get some more gold. And I also have to be very, very wary about ships flying overhead. Is that where I've got to go in? This has like no backing up at all. Jeez. <laughs> I had to use the bottom thrusters just to slow down. It's ridiculous. Okay, what are you doing, Ladybug? Are you going to launch stuff at me? Because if you are, I'm going to fly the hell out of here. I think we're okay. Okay, so gold is here. It is still getting closer. It is like uncomfortably close, but I think that's about as close as it's gonna get. Okay. So I still have to be on the lookout for uh, other ships because I did lose a ship out here once already um, from a drone attack, so I would prefer not to. That was the first time the gopher got destroyed. Okay. So now I need to get gold. Now gold is also relatively uh, common in asteroids. Um, much more common than, say, platinum or uranium. But still, if I can stock up down here where there's, like, guaranteed spots, um, I think I want to do that. Let's see, we're at 22 minutes. Okay, one thing that the ship does not have is downward facing thrusters. So that is something that I'm going to have to work on because otherwise we're not going to be able to slow down once we breach atmosphere unless we flip the ship all the way around, which we can do. Another thing the ship is going to need is gyroscopes because right now it has none. Um, and given the size of the ship, we're probably going to need a pretty good amount. There's just not much. I mean, it's mostly stone that I'm getting out of here. This is kind of ridiculous. Okay, so what do I need gold for? Um, I need gold for a jump drive, which is not actually super critical. Um, if I can get just some hydrogen engines onto a little ship, um, I can fly from asteroid to asteroid, it, it won't be a problem. Um, so the big thing for that is having ice, and I do have a lot of ice. So I guess what we'll do here is we'll just fill up as much as we can. Try to get all, get all the floaties if I can. And we're going to miss a couple, but that's okay. And then I already do have 200 of the uh, cables. So, I mean, I'm kind of started on there. I'm going to need like a 1,000 for a jump drive, though. So what else am I going to need? So I've got my cobalt. I've got, um, I've got a decent amount of gold. Ah. <sighs> Okay. And we want to go probably back this way. No. Depot, where are you? There you are. Okay. Ooh. What are we doing? Okay. Sorry, hit the wrong button. Okay. So we will get going this way. And then we'll drop everything off, which should get me, uh, the refineries will start working. And then I'm not gonna have to worry about uh, refining the stuff on the ship. I can just bring up the raw ore, which once again is gonna be a help. Uh, are we above that? Yeah, we're above that, okay. 
Apparently he's picking up scrap as well. Calm down, calm down. Do not hit the gopher, please. Okay, can we can we level up? All right. Okay, so what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna hover for a moment, so that way I can see if I can pull all of this heavy stuff out. It's not gonna let me. Why will you not let me? Is this not a large opening here? I mean, dude. Unless everything's in here again, which it could be. Yeah, okay. Can we fit that in here? No, okay. So we'll throw all of this in here. Okay, and then we need to get Get that out of there. Okay, all the rest of this stuff is small. So we can get that transferred, I think. Um, but then again, I mean, it had, it never transferred out of here in the first place, right? So I guess we can just do it this way, manually. It's unfortunate, but if it works, it works, right? So I'm going to have to look at the scrapper and see about maybe redoing some stuff, uh, how everything's connected anyways. But yeah, all of this should be moving to the refineries. All right. Okay, and then this guy should be completely empty, which is what we want. All right, now we're gonna drop down, make sure we're kind of aligned. Okay, and then we connect, and then that should go and rebuild the, oh yeah, and I wanna put that on recharge. So that should be rebuilding this guy soon, or right now, okay. So that is now okay. Um, what's the next thing we gotta do? Uh, I would like to refill my hydrogen. So I can do that directly out of these tanks, um, provided they're set to fill. Doo -doo -doo. Okay, so we're at, yeah, auto refill, okay. We throw this into there and we're full, okay. Alrighty. Um, I suppose we can use this just to get ourselves up here. Wow, that was all the hydrogen I had in that tank. That is ridiculous. Okay, um, what do we have here? So, so refineries are currently doing the cobalt. I'd much rather them do the stone, or sorry, the, the gold. Yeah, it's not going to take long for them to do that. Okay. Get that one going too. Of course, it gives me more gold. Any more? No? Yes? <laughs> okay. So we'll throw that here and have that go. Okay, how are you still pulling? Where are you, where are you pulling gold from? Um, I suppose what I could do is see what gold I have. Oh, that got pulled into the station refinery? Oh, shit. Um, yeah, that's not good. 
Well, I want to try something. If I do, nope, that's not going to work. I was thinking if I could jump off and like look up at the same time, then maybe I could like jump up this thing a little bit faster, but it does not seem to be the case. Okay, so these refineries, I do not want processing anything right now because they don't have the uh, the yield modules on there. So all that gold that I just made process is, uh, yeah, it was refined very, very, very inefficiently. Okay, so you off. I need to go around over here to this side. You off. And then I need you to move all of that stuff. Okay, so gold and cobalt. Um, so we'll move that. Okay, so refinery tier three, so it did get moved over. Station refinery tier three, T3, two. Okay, so we need this guy. Okay, so station refinery, okay, good, good. Okay, and then station container locked. Okay, so that gives us 195 gold, that's not bad. Um, station refinery, that all can be moved. So that can go there. Um, okay. Then we'll move all of this as well. Okay, so we have a lot of cobalt now. So that will allow us to do 292 metal plates, I think. Or is it 2,920 metal plates? I don't remember. Uh, this requires one cobalt ingot. ingot so... We can do 2,920 uh, of those, so I think we're good there. Um, let's get all of this stuff moved. Iron, get some more gravel in there, some more cobalt in there. Okay. So I think we're good here. Um, what do we have for silver? Okay, so we have 205 in here. We can throw that in there as well. We have another 44.7. I'll leave that for the depot. Okay. So I think we're good. Um, okay, so what this thing needs now is gyroscopes and a lot of them. And they need to be somewhat near the center of mass, which honestly is probably going to be in here somewhere, uh, because that is mostly empty space down there. So yeah, uh, let's get some plate, and then we'll just throw just a shit ton of gyros up here. Okay, and we'll angle them down. And we'll start off with just two for now. Um, I'm not going to need much more, honestly. So we'll throw those there. Um, that's still going to leave room for all the modules to go on there. So that'll be fine. Okay, so gyro one and gyro two. Okay, uh, next thing we're going to need is some downward thrust. Uh, right now we don't have any, which is... Not great. I don't even know where I can put it, honestly. Um, I could put it up through here, maybe? So we do have, what is that? Ladybug, okay, I'm not worried about that. Um, okay, so we do have this right here. So if we put on conveyor junction there. I'm going to need to actually get some pieces and parts. Um, then we'll be able to go out onto the roof. Okay, so uh, let's see. No, what do 
what is interior plate? That's what it was. Okay. So we'll grab a few of these. Now, the entire purpose of the thruster here is just to slow us down. That is it. Um, okay, so how is that looking? Okay, so we'll throw that there. That should still maintain, once that's done, we should get warm in here again because it still does maintain a seal. Are we warm in here now? No, we are not warm in here now. Why are we not warm in here now? Where's the air leak? What the hell? Okay, how, where, what? Why is this missing? Why is this missing? Well, okay. All right, um, let's see, that's in the eight block. We need half block. Okay. And then the next airflow is going to be through here. Okay, so it still thinks that that is an issue. Okay, how, what, where, how, why? Why is that even, what happened here? I'm so confused. Okay, whatever, I mean, it's, it's a thing, it's happening, I guess. Um, what is that? Is that a, that's a 45, okay. So that needs to go there now. So did that get hit by shrapnel or something? Okay, and now we need to throw in a single thruster. Because I mean, that's, that's really all I'm going to need is just a single thruster. Is that, yeah, hydrogen thruster, okay. So we'll get that built. That's going to be the only thing slowing us down right there. Special content power. It's only 412 meters away. What? Okay. Whatever. Um, okay. Now for a better question, how do I get, how do I get down from here? Um, I could break something open, going that way, I suppose. Would be safer, or I could just go down here and use the jetpack to slow me down, right? Okay. So that sort of worked. Um, since that is as close as it is, I think I'm going to go and get it. Okay, so we're at 75% for our hydrogen. Oh man, we're at 38 minutes. Okay, so then the next thing that I've got to do is drain um, all the hydrogen that I've got everywhere so far into the ship. This thing doesn't even have a timer on it. Okay, where's the button? Button. Of course, the button is down there on the side. And it just fell on it again. Okay, give me that. Cow boots. Okay. And then this has got synth food and cucumbers. Okay. I suppose we can just get rid of the rest of this. How are you not? That is the battery, that is the button. Okay. <sighs> All right.
So you think we'll actually get up in the space this episode? It's a long way to go. And we have to do a lot of building once we get up there. So should I upgrade stuff as long as I'm down here and I have access to all of the other... Okay, get me up there. Thank you. I think I probably should. I need a faster way to get up here because this is slow. You know, if I think about it, I probably could have put the uh, downward facing thrusters down in here because I do have those two, you see those two cargo containers on the left and right side? That's, that's repeated on the bottom. All right, so I could have just dug away some blocks until I exposed those and then just put the thrusters right on top of there because there's more than enough space for those to uh, blast off without damaging anything. Okay, so. Yeah, so you see the tubes there? I would have just had to go down on top of there and we would have been fine. Okay. And apparently you do not recognize multi-door um, things. Okay, so what do we need on here? I'm probably going to need alloy plates for the modules, especially if I go with a tier 3. Oh, that's only tier 3 speed. But I also have yield tier 2. So I could, no, let's just do all of these. That requires superconductors, and I do have 200 of them, which means that I should be able to do all of this. Um, do we want it to be that way or this way? I think I like it better this way. Two, three, four. Okay, so that uses up 100 superconductors. And then doing the same thing over here, we'll use up another 100 superconductors. Oh, shit. Sir, why did you flip over? Okay. So that's our yield modules done. Um, for the assembler, we're going to need a power... Not a power module, but... um. Okay, and I'm not seeing any enemies around here, so... Okay, and then we did fix the leak, so that's good. Is that thing still saying that there is a leak? No. Air leaks can stop. Okay, good. So we're good here. Uh, let's get ourselves recharged. All right. Okay. What do you need? Small steel tubes and tier two motors. Really? Tier two motors? Okay. Um, production. This guy will have you do a thousand small steel tubes. Oh, you're on disassembly. Never mind. There we go. And then it said that we needed tier two motors, right? So that'd be these guys. Okay, and that should be good enough to get us all of our yield modules. And so whatever ore that we put through those things, we should be getting a decent amount of ore out of them, which is great. Um, Okay, I do want to check station refineries and see what they're looking like. Uh, effectiveness, power efficiency goes down. Okay, so they use it uses 4% more power. You now it's using 6% more power, 8% more power. Okay, so for each of these that we add on there, it uses an additional 2% power, which I think will be fine. Um, another thing that we're going to need is a shit ton of solar cells. So let's build a ton of those. And I mean like a lot, like probably 2,000. Okay. 
Oh, and those are regular solar cells. So the, hang on, hang on, hang on. We should do the tiered ones, right? Because then we get more power out of it. So, okay, so solar. We need tier three solar cells and alloy plates. Okay. So we'll make like a thousand of those just to carry with us. Um, okay. That's going to take a little while. Okay. So let's take a look at our station containers. Okay, let me see. Okay, first off, we need to move these things, right? Yeah. And then we need to move these onto the station containers. So let's hide empty. And then station is going to be down here. Okay. That's ores. Here we go for components. Okay, so that'll be good. Uh, what else do we need? Um, okay, actually, speaking of, let's just throw all of this stuff in here. That can go, that can go, that can go. Okay, so then all of this other stuff here. Okay, that's the water recycler. So water recycler can take that. Um, okay, food can take that. Oh, why? No, no. Hang on. Food. You can not take that? Okay, fine. That's because it's full of gravel. Okay. So we'll throw organics. We still can't put that in there. Can we put synth food in there? Can we put this in there? No. Okay, so cucumbers are just kind of stuck. Um, we can put some gravel in here, I suppose. And then we need to go back into the water recycler and then throw all of this in there. And then gravel we can put in there because that's kind of a by byproduct. So, um, should work, and I don't think this can go in there either, so that's fine. Okay, um, so we need to go back into here, grab all of these, move as many as I can into there. Okay. Um, and then this is just to get power set up once we're up there. Um, we are, what are, what are you, what are you, a thrush that could potentially launch a, launch a drone and we're at 48 minutes. Um, another thing that I have to worry about is, um, are the four thrusters that I've got on there, four large thrusters, is that going to be enough to get us off the planet? Or are we just going to fall? Ah, man, that guy is getting close. I don't like it. Oh, so that works that way. Okay. I don't know. Okay, so what do we got? You're at 2.76 now. Okay. So I can still move stuff from here, but I'm a bit more protected here. So, move these guys over. Um, we can get us get a head start on plates, I suppose. And then all of these can go as well. And all of these can go. Anything else that we need? Tier two motors. Sure, we'll take those. Yeah. 
You did not launch anything. Okay, good to go. Um, do, 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 do. Okay, so we're going to have a lot for solar panels. We are going to need more alloy plates, but I can make those up there. Ah, oh, man. I just want to I just want to make sure that I've got as much possibly set up here as I possibly can. Um this guy I'm going to need to reconnect into the base so that way it doesn't lose power. Okay. So, let me see. I need to go Okay, first off. Okay, and then we need to go I think this way. Okay, so let's go this way and then back. All right. All right, and now if we connect here and then go down, okay. So now we can lock and charge. Okay, so when I get back, this will not be dead. It should be fully charged. Um, okay, let's see what else we need to do. Okay, that guy has its own power source, so I'm not worried about him. Um, this guy is connected and on recharge. This guy is connected and on recharge. Um, I mean, I think I'm ready. And it's, we're at 52 minutes, so eight minutes to get up into space. What do you think? Okay, so another thing that I'm gonna have to do is label the merge blocks here. So that one and that one. Um, so that way I can turn them off from the control chair. If you don't mind, I would like to get up there, please. Thank you. Okay, so. I could actually get rid of these ones completely. And then I would just need to disconnect that and that. Or I could disconnect this now and just have this bottom one be here and connected. Um, yeah, I don't know. Okay, so for all the merge blocks that we, oh, we have a lot of merge blocks, holy crap. Ah, uh, shit. Um, and then we also have this one here, which I am going to back down. Okay, so that one we don't need. And granted, we don't need that merge block there either, but I can't actually get at it. I'm gonna need the platform ship, which I already connected. Um, I need access to a port or something. I don't have it down here. Uh, okay. This is kind of nerve wracking, leaving a planet, you know? So we're at 54 minutes, we got six minutes left. Uh, if we do manage to take off, um, it'll be fun. <laughs> Uh, if we do manage to take off, we will stay in the video until we actually reach low orbit, um, just above the gravity. So we, uh, when I turn this thing into a station, it doesn't actually... Uh... Oh, and then uh, also, I'm going to have to... I should open up this one. Okay. I'm going to have to take the hydrogen tanks that are connected here. Um... And I can't tell which ones those are because they're not labeled correctly. Okay. Bah. All of these things that keep just delaying everything. Okay, so because this ship is currently merged, 
to the depot. It's not actually going to uh, it's not actually going to show any of these things separately. So I'm going to have to go and rename all this stuff separately, which means that we're not going to be able to take off in this episode. But we should be able to take off early into the next one. Um, we're at 55 minutes, so I think I can get in there and just kind of like rename these things real quick. So, sir, if you don't mind, how are we doing over there? We got a red light. Yeesh. It's not doing so good. What the hell? Okay. It's weird. Um, okay, so 495 and up and out. All right. Okay, so first things first, um, I need to get into the ship and uh, label these things. So I did leave myself an open window, so I should be able to get in here at least. Okay, so that'll be good for that. Okay, you, oh, it is labeled station hydrogen tank, really? Yeah, they're already labeled, great, okay. <sighs> well, that was annoying. Okay, so all four of the station hydrogen tanks, we're gonna have you stockpile. Pull as much hydrogen as you can out of what I've got so far. Shouldn't take very long, honestly. Okay, so they're, I think they're just about filled. Okay, so we'll turn stockpile back off. So yeah, we've got about half fill in each of these things, which is pretty good. So those ones too, about halfway filled. Um, this battery is basically dead. Um, this has to be in recharge mode because this is what's powering the entire ship. So, uh, yeah, as soon as I uh, take off or disconnect from the station, yeah. Okay. So next things that we need to take care of is this merge block does not need to be here. Oh, really? Okay. Um, move forward a little. Okay, and then I don't think I can actually get at the one in there. I mean, if I was smart, I would have already labeled it, but I don't think I was that smart. So how are we doing? Are we there? 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 Jeez, dude. Okay, I think we're there now. Okay, so merge block here. Okay, so station merge block. Okay, so that will be good for that. And then we also have to label the station connector. So that way we can actually disconnect. Okay, so let's rename this guy. If I could type, of course, station connector. All right, so once I disconnect those, um, actually, hold on. We're gonna, we're gonna rename this thing too. So, Oh, space piston connector. Yeah. Okay, so that's already labeled. Good. Which means that this one down here is probably also labeled. It's probably space piston merge, if I had to guess. Yep, space piston merge. Okay. Good. So those um, we can do. And then uh, the final merge block we'll have on the bottom. 
So what's going to happen here? Okay, so this is let's see station bottom merge. Okay, so we're going to disconnect uh, this first. Well, these both of these first. Retract the pistons. Um, and then for the final thing, we're going to disconnect this merge block, which will completely disconnect this from the depot. And then from there, uh, provided these things are providing enough thrust, up we go. So that is the plan. Um, unfortunately, we could not do it in this episode, but I believe that we are set up now. Um, I'll probably do... Oops. Um, I'll probably do one more uh, filling of the hydrogen tanks uh, just to gather what little hydrogen I can. And uh, yeah. Okay. So let's flatten ourselves out. Good. Straighten ourselves out. Good. All right, let's see what we got. Okay, and we need to move over a little bit, back a little bit, over a little bit. I think that'll be okay. Drop down a little bit. Okay, and then drop down the rest of the way. Oh, hey, guess what? We can actually see through the world right here. Oh, hey, <laughs> remember our pit piston? <laughs> like, I forgot about that thing. <laughs> it's still there. Still doing its thing. That's that's kind of funny. Um, and you can see the uh, the long sewer that's under there. Um, you can see the extensions of the sewer that I did to connect stuff. Um, are we out of power? No, we're not out of power. Um, okay, so four nine. We are we are out of power. Well, we can't be out of power because otherwise the drills would stop running. Okay, so it's currently using all of our battery power. So I guess we're going to end this episode in the battery center, battery building, whatever you want to call it. Um, it doesn't look like they're all the way dead yet. All right, what is that? Ladybug? I'm not worried about a ladybug. Okay. Those are all dead. We are offline here. These are all set to recharge. <laughs> Fully recharged in three years. That is hilarious. Um, okay. So all of these are off. So battery B group. We're going to put you on to auto. There we go. Um, should we stop all the timer blocks? Yeah. Okay, so how are, what are you doing? Fully depleted in 38 seconds. That is, that is not good. Oh, and you're still in recharge. Dude. Oh, that's the A group. Okay, A group, auto. Okay. We are super, super low on power. We have 2.2% charge. So, yeah. And we are dealing with dregs. Fully depleted in one minute. And that's because the refineries on the ship are still running. Or no, 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 no. Okay, so this refinery is running, yes? Okay, so let's turn this off. Um, let's turn the assemblers off. Okay, how are we looking on power? Still gonna be fully depleted in 44 seconds. This is gonna be fully recharged in one day. So how is this, and they're all in auto, aren't they? Uh, 
I don't know, man. This is uh, a little nerve-wracking. Down to... Okay, so we are going up in charge. Now we're going down in charge. I don't, I don't know what's going on here. What are we using? Our output is 30.9 megawatts. That's a lot. Okay, so batteries... Oh, all of the little ships are charging. That's why. And then this is the ship battery, which still needs to get fully charged. So, yeah. I think it's just because everything... Yeah, so this is in recharge mode. Gopher batteries are in recharge mode. Overflow battery is doing its thing. Scrapper batteries are in recharge mode. Um... Yeah, I mean, and the platform batteries are also in recharge mode, and that's three of them, so. How are these doing? Fully recharged in three minutes? Okay, so uh, we're going to end the episode here. We are not doing so great on power. Uh, we'll see how this kind of plays out. But uh, we are at an hour and six minutes, so I'm going to end it here. Um... Hopefully I can get everything kind of up and running once all the little batteries are charged. And we'll be able to get some charge actually into the main depot batteries, which would be great. So, um, going to end it here. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. And hopefully you'll join me in the next episode. Alrighty. Alright. Have a good one.